In this module, I want to talk about adding and subtracting vectors. Before, we did it just qualitatively, but this time we want to do some real computations. And we'll uh, look at adding and subtra subtracting graphically, as well as using components. All right, so let's say we have uh, two vectors. Here's vector A. And we'll say it has a length 5, and, uh, and we'll put... Uh, a coordinate system here, call that the positive x-axis, and this is the positive y, and we'll say it makes an angle relative to the positive x-axis of 36.87 degrees. Now you may know why I, I made up that particular angle, that's really part of a 3-4-5 triangle, but uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. There's our, our vector, it's 5, it's pointing in that direction. Now, if I want to uh, look at another vector, and I want to look at it, uh, and I want to put a coordinate system where the origin is at the tail of the vector, have a positive x and a positive y-axis. Now, let's say this vector is uh, has a length 7, and it makes an angle of uh, 45 degrees, uh, counterclockwise from the positive y-axis. And so I want to call these this vector A, this vector B, and now we want to know what is uh, the resulting vector C, that is A plus B. So to do that, we're, we'll do it graphically first, and so that's the uh, tip-to-tail method. So I'm going to... Um, make try to make a big picture here so let's say this is my first vector this is vector a and then if i look at my um, vertical and horizontal lines here i want to put vector b um, I, need, I can translate it, but I can't rotate it. So I have to be careful about translating vector B o over. So I'm, you know, vector B is going to come over, translate here. So it has a length 7, and it uh, is at a 45 degree angle where... Vector A was at a this approximately 37 degree angle from from the horizontal. So now the resulting vector goes from the tail of A to the tip of B in a straight line, if I can draw it. And so this is is vector C. So what exactly is uh, that vector? To calculate that vector now, we have to um, we have to be able to uh, find the length of this as well as its angle relative to some axis. And we don't have any right triangles with, I mean, I would say this uh, ABC here is not a right triangle. And so if we want to know the length of, of C here, uh, uh, we can try to use the law of cosines to be able to find it. Because we do know the length of the other two sides, we would just need to find uh, this angle. Well, can we find this angle? And I think we can. We know these other two angles here, and so we know that the, these green lines make a 90 degree angle. So if uh, this angle right here is 45, then this angle right here is 45. And if uh, this angle is 37, then this angle is 37. And so the purple angle then is going to be uh, approximately, uh, what do I have, 82 degrees. And so now I can use the uh, law of cosines that tells me that the magnitude of the side c squared 
is equal to uh, the magnitude of uh, a squared plus b squared minus 2 times the length ab cosine of the angle opposite c, which we just found was 82 degrees, and then a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 7. So we can plug those numbers in and, and we get that the that c is equal to 8.016. I'm, I'm keeping some, uh, some significant figures and I can simplify it later. Now, if you look at this diagram, it's getting pretty complicated, and it highlights one of the important things when you're solving physics problems, which is to have a large amount of blank scratch paper. If you're trying to solve the problems in the margins of, of the print-off of your problem sheet or, or something else, or if you try to sit down and work a problem all the way through from the beginning, uh, it, per, eventually you'll run into uh, problems that you just can't solve that way. It's important to have really big pictures and lo lots of blank space to work in. All right, so now we found the uh, magnitude of this vector, Now we, but now we need to find its direction. Okay, well, um, let's see. We have enough information to find the other angles, so let's try to find uh, this angle right here. And I'll call this, uh, we'll call this angle uh, B, because it's the opposite of uh, the side B, where we have, if this side is A, we could call this angle, we'll call this angle capital A. All right, so we want to find this angle B, and we can find that using the law of sines. We know that uh, the length of side B divided by sine of that angle capital B is equal to the uh, length of side C times the uh, uh, angle sine of c. And so this angle b, well I should sine of this angle b, then is going to be uh, equal to uh, b sine c over c. If you're not familiar with these rules, make sure you review uh, the uh, trigonometry rules. The important thing here is that this works great as long as the angles are less than 90 degrees. And I'm not going to go into that detail now, but once angles get greater than 90 degrees, this particular formula will give multiple answers. And if you put it in a calculator, it won't tell you whether you got the right one. So just remember for the law of signs, and, and if you need to review that, do so, that it uh, uh, you get unique answers only when all angles are less than 90 degrees. Okay, but if we plug in the numbers for this, we get that uh, this this angle is 59.85 degrees. And so uh, the question is, is that it? Are we done? Is that the angle we want? No. That angle is just this angle of this triangle. If we want a uh, direction for our vector, C, this is got, we're going to have a magnitude, 8. 0.016, but we need some direction from a uh, from a coordinate system, something that we can reference. And so, if this is our positive x-axis, what we'd really like is this entire angle. And well, that's easy enough to find. That's just going to be this angle that's approximately 37. What did we say it was exactly? 36.87. Uh, add these two angles together, and then we're going to get a 96.72. So we would say it's 96.72 degrees uh, counterclockwise from positive x-axis. You know, that's not the only uh, direction we might use. We notice that it's uh, above 90 degrees, so it's on the other side of the y-axis, if I were to draw that here, the positive y-axis is not quite perpendicular, my drawing's not perfect, but it's going to be uh, up that way. And so you might also write this 
as 8.016, 6.72 degrees counterclockwise from positive y axis. So e either of these are right, but you can tell that what's important about doing problems this way is is that you uh, are very careful about your graph. This this sort of thing is very easy to get uh, confusing. A lot of lines to keep straight, and uh, it's easy if you don't have a lot of space to um, uh, make mistakes. Okay, so we've added the the two vectors together. We have a resulting vector. That's fine. Um, let's see if we can do it a different way. Okay, and this time let's find the components of our original vector. Okay, so we started with a vector. Here's our coordinate system, and our, our vector was off here at 5, and uh, this angle here was uh, 38, right? Oh, 36.87 degrees. And so now let's find the components. So this is A, and the compo the x component of this vector is the length of that side, which is 5 cosine 36.87. And now the y component of this vector is 5 sine 36.87 and uh, we're familiar with these sorts of vectors we know that that's uh, length 4 and that is a length 3 so those are the components now of a uh, vector a if we look at the other vector now it was uh, coming off in this direction, where this was 45. And so if I want to find what the components were of this vector, I would first, okay, so here's the x component, is this length here. Well, that's the same as this length there. And so that length is 7, the hypotenuse, times sine of 45 degrees. Now I go to my figure, I go to my coordinate system. This is the positive x-axis, which means this is going to be the negative x-axis. So this component is negative 7 sine 45 degrees. The y-axis then is uh, 7, the y-coordinate uh, is 7 times, well, also sine of 45, it's all cosine of 45, and there, that's this length here, so it's all, it's all the same, but if we were to be sort of uh, consistent with how we did it before, that length is 7 cosine of, of 45. And so the coordinates of this, and that's a positive number, is going to be uh, negative 4.5. 9.5 and a positive 4.95. It's of course not vector A anymore, it was vector B, sorry about that. And so now we have our coordinates of vector B. And now if we want to add the uh, coordinates together, all we do is add the, the components. If we want to add the vectors together, all we do is add the components together. So this is negative 0.95, and this is 7.95. So our C vector is equal to those components, and we've solved our problem. And so none of the the trigonometry from this from the uh, previous problem is necessary. We can simply add the components to add the vectors, and that's the end of this module.